if you are a fan of sushi, if you like salmon, then I think you will enjoy this little video on how to brine salmon, how to take a piece of uh, thawed salmon, hopefully fresh with the skin on, on one side, how to turn that into something that you can use, uh, put on piece of a, of a homemade piece of bread, or you can, uh, as fine slices, you can also put it into an omelet. You can use it in so many ways as a, as a snack um, on crackers. It's just a very, very sophisticated, elegant way of showing friends and family that you really care. And if you really want to, to give them, a, 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 it can really add to a very nice meal. After about 72 hours or three days in the fridge, it depends a little bit on, on the thickness of your salmon. If it's a fairly thin one, you can do it in just two days. Um, you take out the, the salmon, you clean your plate and you wash off the, the remaining salt and sugar on your, your piece of salmon. And then you gently with, with paper towel or something, get the water off. And that's essentially it. Now you have your salmon, which has literally taken you much less than five minutes in total to prepare. If you're gonna use it on bread, I would strongly recommend that you also make a little sauce or dressing. And it's very simple. You get some Dijon uh, mustard, you get some fresh dill, some sugar and some vinegar. It can be rice vinegar or, or something else, but probably not. Um, uh, some some very simple vinegar is probably a good thing. And then you just based on how sour, how how sweet or how sour you want the the, the sauce, you just mix it up and put, sort of put a small and put it in a little bowl next to the salmon, and people can can put that on themselves. It gives a very, very nice touch. It really complements the salmon uh, very, very nicely. And when you are happy with the sort of ratio of mustard and vinegar and sugar, um, you are then ready to slice your, your salmon very finely into thin slices. So I recommend that you sharpen a knife and then just sort of gently cut it through and you can lay it out on a, on a plate or you can put it directly onto a piece of bread and, and, and serve it that way. And maybe the same afternoon you decided that you also wanted to make some fresh bread. So here's my homemade bread coming out of my Dutch oven, my cast iron pot. And then I simply cut some slices of bread and uh, yeah, the rest is, um, is really uh, self-explanatory, I think. I hope you, this will in, in, invite you to eat more salmon and eat salmon and share salmon with friends in a way that you haven't done before. Enjoy. <laughs>